In this video, we'll bounce the equation C5H10O2 plus O2. So this is a combustion reaction. We have this hydrocarbon, we have oxygen, then we have carbon dioxide and water on the products. So let's count the atoms up and balance the equation. This is a bit of a tough one. So we have five carbons, 10 hydrogens, and then two plus two. So we have four oxygens on the reactant side. Product side, we have the one carbon, two hydrogens, and two plus the one here. So we have three oxygen atoms. So with these combustion reactions, leave the oxygens till last. That's usually a really good strategy. We can balance the carbons though. We could put a five here, one times five, that would balance the carbon atoms. And then let's update the oxygens here. We have five times two, so 10 plus the one. So now we have 11 oxygen atoms. Let's balance the hydrogens. We could just put a five as our coefficient here, two times five, that gives us 10. So the hydrogens are balanced. But again, we need to update the oxygens here. We have five times two, that's the 10 plus five times the one. So we have 15. And here's where it gets difficult because we have 15 and four. So we can put something in front of the oxygen that will balance this equation. But what is that number gonna be? So here's a good way to think about this. You could say two plus something. So two plus something is gonna equal the 15. So two plus 13, right? That would equal 15. So we need to have a 13 in front of the O2. But remember, this is O2, so it's gonna be half of that. So we're gonna call this 13 over two. So this equation right now, it is a balanced equation. These are the correct ratios for C5H10O2 plus O2. So this is correct, but teachers don't always like to have fractions when you balance these equations. So we need to get this to be a whole number. The way we do that, we multiply everything by two. So we're just gonna double everything and that'll get rid of our fraction. So we end up with two and then two times 13 over two, the twos cross out, that's just 13. Two times five is 10, two times five is 10. So if you need whole number coefficients, they end up being two, 13, 10, and 10. So that's also a correct ratio for this equation. So the key here, leave the oxygen till last and then figure out what you need to put in front of the O2 so that you balance the oxygens. In this case, we needed to get it to be 15. So we put 13 over two. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for C5H10O2. This video goes out to user Sweetener. Thanks for watching.